Hi, today we're on Route 66 in Missouri. Check this out. So we're on Route 66 right here. And on the right is Interstate 44. And we just left the town of Cuba in Fanning, the site of the very large rocking chair. And now we're headed into a town called St. James, the forest city of the Ozarks. Now once you get into town, we're still on Route 66 here. Route 66 turns into West St. James Avenue. Now on Route 66 here, we're looking east. And on Mueller Street is this building here. This used to be the Atlasta service station at Mueller on Route 66. It dates back to 1910. Used to have a garage, tire shop, cafe, a little dance hall, even a banquet hall. 1940s it operated as Woodruff's Garage and in 1964 the main station burned down but the tire shop survived and that's what we see today. Here it is. It's an old gas station. Looks like an old gas station. Look at that. Anyway, it looks like a used car dealership now. This guy. It's got these uh, two service bays right in front. It's got the gabled roof. And the flat roof over the office there. See that? Pretty cool. Right in front, see that rusty old pole there? It's sitting on the pump island behind that blue car there. Hey, check out this cool gas station. It's a derby. Right on the corner of Seymour and Route 66. Right here, there used to be a big tall post with a big derby logo sign. This guy was established in 1920s. He used to own by Archibald Leon Derby. He always went by the name of Al. So in 1922, he formed the Derby Oil Company, pumping, refining, and selling fuel through 100 different gas stations in the region. And then the company was acquired in 1955 by Colorado Interstate Gas. Then in 73 by Coastal Corp and rebranded in 1988 as Coastal. Anyway, it's got a little private rope here, so they don't want you going in there. Taking a look, it's got this great flat roof, little pump island right here. The original gas pumps. My goodness. Hey, behind the gas station, about two houses up, look at this fossil. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Looks like something on Long Island. Beautiful home here. Let's see. Let's get a better close. Better look here. Yeah, goodness. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Holy smokes, right on Seymour. Hey, right here at Route 66 in Jefferson. Right in town, it's called Johnny's on Route 66. This guy dates back to 1929, three years after Route 66 came through. So his first name, the Commercial Cafe, and then later people called it the Rose Cafe, owned by Jessie Rose, and she ran it from 1929 to 1940s as a cafe and a restaurant. And then uh, she sold it in 1950s, came uh, Snell's Cafe, and then Mary's Cafe, and then finally in 1960, purchased by John Bullock, he named it Johnny's Bar. That's where it is today. Johnny's on Route 66. Over here it's called Leo Cardetti's Flag and Flagpole Specialist. So the original Leo Cardetti's used to be over here, but it burned down, so they moved it up here to this site. Now to Johnny's Bar here, you turn right at Jefferson. Yeah, I'll show you a couple little things up here. Right before the freeway, we get to the Missouri Veterans Home. We have another old motel here. It's called the Economy Inn now. I'm not exactly sure what it, went, what it was, but definitely that little U-shaped looking motel. So we head back over Interstate 44. We're headed to Finn's Motel. It's right down here, right behind Burger King, so it's pretty easy to find this old Route 66 
Byway Motel. Head to the right. Here's the office for the Bigham Auto LLC old building. And here we have Finn's Motel. So most of the original Route 66 motels were on the actual 1926 alignment, but when they built the four-lane road out here, it's now Interstate 44, they started building these newer hotels on the bypass or the newer Route 66. So these started getting built around 1956. They're uh, built here for, you know, give our drivers a rest when we got tired on the road. And Finn's is owned by Roy Finn and his wife. And they advertised up here, rest with us tonight to drive your best tomorrow. Wow, that was a, what they proclaimed, the marvelous beds, very clean, free room TV, individual thermostats, budget rates, and today we have Wi-Fi. Now back at Johnny's bar here, Johnny's Grill, this is residential section. This is the very first divided Route 66 highway in Missouri. Where this way we're going west, and these folks are going east. We've got this great little walkway in between. So it's the first time we ever see this. It's like a 0.2 mile stretch of Route 66. Wow. And up here we're going to find one last stop. It's the American Way Motor Court at 712 West James Boulevard. Out of here, look at these beautiful buildings here. It's called the Wyckoff Building here. Well, this is our last stop in St. James, our Route 66. This is 712 West James Boulevard. Look at this. This is the old American Way Motor Court, S&K Cottages, built around 1940. It's a service station. Service station is no longer here. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but the wood cabins are here. A little uh, refabricated, protected. Also the stone cabin. I believe this one here is the original stone cabin all fixed up and painted. Anyway, this is a really cool motor court. This might be the stone cabin. I don't know. One of these. You can't tell because it's so fixed up right now. Anyway, this thing was advertised as a low-cost rental. Modern heated cottages. Cool in summer. This is a, what a little motor court cottage setup used to look like. These look obviously newer, but in the old days, you'd have Route 66, and you pull up here, you get your gas, and you uh, hang out in your cottage. All right, so there you go. That's uh, St. James on Route 66. It's really busy here, really noisy. And today, we're going to stay at uh, the local park. It's called the Merrimack Springs Campground. They got fire pits and... Um, you know, barbecue units, gazebos, and all sorts of goodies. We're gonna stay there, so I hope you liked the little tour of St. James, Missouri, on uh, Route 66 right here. Original 1926 alignment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.